Hey there, um, we are going to do a quick flow on the reformer today. Um, so grab, if you have a Pilates ball, grab that. And then um, we are going to take our springs to start to two reds and a blue. <clears throat> and then we will lay on back, grab your ball. We're going to bring the ball in between the thighs. Arms are gonna come long by your side, and then we're gonna press out here, and then bring it back in. Press it out, and then bring the balls of your feet, so right by your toes. Just a gentle press, gentle squeeze on the ball. Allow your shoulders to lay all the way down. You've got a nice neutral spine. Two more. Last one, feeling a little heat through those inner thighs. Good, and then come to the arches, reaching the toes over, dropping the heels underneath like a bird on a perch, and then press it out here. Squeezing the ball gently. Two more. Last one. Good. And then we'll bring that in. Let's go ahead. Take it to your heels. Dorsiflex the feet. And press it out. Still keeping that gentle squeeze on the ball. And those inner thighs should feel definitely warmer. Two more. Last one. Good, and we'll bring that in. Let's go ahead and just remove the ball and then place it back in. So you're just gonna remove it and squeeze. Remove, let the knees fall out and squeeze. Feels really nice for the hip flexors. We'll take two more here. Good, one more. Ah. All right, we are gonna go ahead, just uh, set the ball, just hold on to the ball here. So we'll just let it relax by our side. And then let's go ahead, come to the balls of your feet, come into your high heel, press out, stay as lifted as you can, come back in, press out, two more. Good, one more. And then extend it out, relax those heels underneath the foot bar, take a bend in one knee, straighten, take a bend in the other. Straighten. Good, we'll take one more on each side. Good, and bring it in. All right, make sure your headrest is all the way down. We're gonna take the ball in between the thighs. We're gonna go ahead and bring our um, hands long by our side and then we're going to press up into our bridge so go ahead and send it up nice straight line and then slowly start to melt it down my headrest up. i didn't realize my headrest was up until i went up and i could feel it all right arms are long by your side good and press it up come into that nice straight line Getting that nice opening through the front of the body and lower it down. Good. All right, let's press it up. Keep that carriage in. And slowly lower. Good, and press. And lower. And press. Two more. Squeezing that ball. Good, one more. And lower that down. Nice job. Little pause here. <clears throat> Good, and then let's press it up. Come into that nice straight line. We're gonna go down an inch and up. Down and up, squeeze the ball.
Two more. Last one. And roll it down. Ah, nice. All right, last one here. Arms nice and long by your side. Roll it up this time, so articulate the spine. Bring it up one vertebrae at a time like a pearl necklace. Good, squeeze that ball. We're gonna take little squeezes on the ball. Squeeze and release, squeeze and release. You got it. For four, three, two, and one. Good, melt it down. One vertebrae at a time, let that spine roll down. Good, all right. So let's go ahead, set the ball down but by your side. Actually, hold on to your ball. Grab, change your springs. I'm gonna take it to a red and a blue. So one red, one blue, and then we'll come on back. We're gonna hold on to the ball, so keep that ball. And then gently lower it back down. And then we'll bring the ball in between the thighs. We're gonna reach those arms up. Bring those arms straight over the shoulders. And then go ahead and bring your legs to tabletop and lower down. Lower and lift. Two more. Last one. Good. Turn the palms to face the thighs. Open them out and draw it in. Good. Exhale like two magnets coming together. Two more. Last one, still squeezing that ball. Bring the arms up, or bring your arms, just parallel palms down, and then we'll take triceps here. Good, two more. Nice, strong core, keep that navel to your spine. Reach the arms up and out and around. Squeeze the ball. It's gonna help to activate your core. Two more. One more. Good, and switch the direction. Make them smooth. Last two, last one. Good, and then we'll lower that down. Nice. All right, we are going to take the straps to our feet, big loops on. And then we are going to bend our legs in, place that ball in between the feet, and press it out. Good. Arms are along by your side. You'll bring your legs up to parallel, and then, or up to 90, and then up down to 45. Good. Parallel feet. Lowering and lifting here. So still feeling this in the inner thighs. Two more. Last one. Good. And then we'll press it out to 45 degrees. Draw those heels into that ball and bend it in and press. Good. Bending in and pressing. Exhale with your exertion. Press it out and inhale as you come in. Three more, two more, last one, Ooh, good, and then we'll bend it in, grab that ball, we can now place that down by your carriage, and then we'll extend the legs up to the ceiling, press out to 45, we're going to draw the right knee in, extend the left leg out to the side, press out to center, and switch. Good, so press to 45, switch. Just drawing, taking that Peter Pan. Keep the pelvis nice and stable. Good, one more each side. And then we'll bring that up. We'll take the legs straight overhead and we'll take circles here. Down, around, and back up. Keep the ribs down. Keep your tailbone down. Two more. One more. And then we'll 
reverse. Reverse the direction. Two more. Last one. Good. And then feet parallel. Just take a nice little pull on those ropes. Get a gentle stretch here. Straddle the legs out wide. Pull those down. And then we'll bring it up. We'll take a quick figure four stretch while we're here. Let's cross that leg over. strap and then we'll bend the left leg in, bending at the right knee, flexing both feet. Good. Gently bring it up and then we'll go ahead. We're going to take one strap off, find your foot bar, take the other strap off and then we'll bring the straps to the peg and then we are going to come on off our reformer and then we are going to change our spring to one red spring. So let go of your blue spring, come to one red. And then we're gonna just sit across the reformer. Our legs are extended. You could cross them over or um, just straight ahead. Get nice and tall with the spine and then we're gonna press it back, taking an exhale, and then we're gonna inhale it forward. Exhale, press back for chest expansion. Inhale forward. Exhale, press. Inhale forward. Good. We'll take two more. One more. Good. Turn the palms up. Bring the feet to the headrest. And then you can take a lean and we'll take bicep curls here. That's my dryer in the background. <laughs> Two more. One more. Good. And gently rise. Good. And then we'll extend those legs out in front. I'm just going to lower down. Arms, palms are up. We're going to slowly lower down. and then gently rise back up. And then just send it forward to a spine, stretch forward, reaching through those arms out in front. Good, we'll do one more, coming up, restacking, and then we'll slowly lower down. And gently rising back up. And then we'll send it forward, that stretch forward. Extend through the arms. And then we'll restack. Good. Cross your straps. Good. Nice and tall. And then we'll draw those arms out to a T. Or not out to a T, but send those elbows back. <laughs> Good. Because our arms are like a T, but our elbows are reaching to create that T. Good. Two more. Last one. Good. And then we're just going to add a rotation. And then we'll switch to the other side. And switch. Nice strong wrist. One more each side. Last one. Good. Then we'll uncross the straps. And we'll go ahead and set those down. We're going to come off of our reformer and we are going to come to grab our, um, our box. So grab your box. We're going to bring our long box on the carriage. The long box is going to come to the carriage. And we've got one red spring on, so that's perfect. And then we are going to come on up. <clears throat> and we are going to come to lay on your box. We're going to go ahead and bring our chest down. So just gently lower down. Bring your
your chest off the back slightly. And then we're gonna choke up on the straps here, walk, walking the hands up. And then we're gonna draw our feet together and we're gonna pull it back, taking an exhale. And then inhale lower. Good. Exhale, reach it back. Drawing the feet together, inhale lower. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale lower. Exhale back. Inhale lower. Two more. Get the legs long. Good, one more. And then we'll lower that down. Good, take a break. Look in the back of the body, and then we'll bring our arms out to a T. And here we're gonna draw those feet together, squeeze the glutes, draw the arms by your side, open it back up. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades together. Inhale, open, exhale, pull. Two more. Good, one more. And we'll lower that down. Nice job. All right. We're going to come on off of our reformer. Take time. And then we are going to come to the other side to lay with our hands on the headrest. Or hands. <laughs> right now it's your headrest. <laughs> but your hands on the foot bar. Good. All right. So arms are um, on your foot bar. <laughs> and then we're going to press it out and bring it back in. And we just wanna focus on our breath here. We can bring that chest slightly off the box. Good, and then we're, so we're gonna exhale, press, inhale it forward. Exhale, press, inhale forward, feet are pair, uh, hip distance apart. And then we'll start to press out, hold it here, exhale, and then just inhale, gently rise. Exhale, lower, inhale, gently. Inhale, gently rise, and you can start to come up a little bit higher as it feels good. Don't, don't push it, just gently rising, lowering and lifting, coming into your swan. Hmm. We'll take a couple more here. Last one. And lower that down. Good, bring it in. Nice job. All right, we are gonna go ahead and come off of our box. We'll grab our box, set that back down. Oops. And then we are going to have a Z sit on our reformer. We've got one red spring. We'll start uh, Z sit here facing with your shins facing the shoulder blocks. And then just sit nice and tall. We're gonna take a little mermaid stretch, reaching out and extending. And then gently lifting. Good, exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. One more, exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Good. I'll gently bring that in and we'll just take that to the other side. Rotate, come to the other side, get nice and tall, and then we'll send it out, reach, and gently rise. Good, extend it out, and rise. One more, press out, and rise. Good, and then we'll slowly come on up standing and we'll take a roll down here to finish up so hopefully we did a little a nice little flow it's nothing too crazy and nothing too long so hopefully you feel good um stand nice and tall just roll the shoulder black shoulder block shoulder <laughs> shoulders back <laughs> one more Good, and then take a nice big inhale, reach those arms up. Take a gentle side body stretch, grab your right wrist and just reach it over. Good, and then gently lift up and then gently reach. Good, and then back up to center.
center and then we'll take a big beach ball overhead and we're just going to lower down big beach ball lower down forward fold let the head be heavy shake your head yes shake your head no And then we'll slowly take a little bend in the knees and start to restack. So one vertebrae at a time, rolling up. Take your time, take your time. Restack, restack. Good, roll the shoulders back and down. And then let's take one more final inhale, reaching those arms up and exhale. We are done. Thank you so much. Um, so let me know if you have any questions, comments, if you'd like to include certain things, we'll definitely add those in. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.